So they're coming over Captain America Civil War. Well, since Luffy and uh, Naruto are part of the Jump Force, it's kind of Avenger-ish. So I'm going to do One Piece The Great Pirate War. Now, I'm going to explain Team Luffy and Team Naruto. Well, we all know what Team Captain America is and Team Iron Man is, so we're going to know what Team Luffy and Team Naruto is. So Team Luffy is Luffy, of course, Zoro, second in command, Nami, Usopp, Sanji, and Tony Tony Chopper. Yes, Team Naruto is Naruto, which he's the leader. And I did not know who to make second in command. Like, I was going to do Sasuke or Hinata, but... My only choice was to do Hinata be second in command, Sasuke of course, Sakura, Sai, and Ino. In this movie, it will follow how Naruto's dad died, died, but in a different way because this is an anime cinematic universe, and we I, look. I'm just, I'm just, I just want to make sure everything is connected, okay? Okay. And you want to know who killed him? That will be Zoro's dad. And Kakashi did try, and Kakashi did try to save him, but it. Naruto's dad died anyway, and when Naruto realized how his dad died, he beats up Zoro, and that's when the Great Power War happens. Team Naruto and Team Luffy both fought, and Luffy wins, and Naruto marries Hinata, Sasuke marries Sakura, and Sai marries Ino. And that was One Piece The Great Pirate War. Now time for the post credit scene. In the post credit scene, Kane watches a video that the Jump Force had divided. He starts laughing at it, and that was it. Now time for the next movie. I did not know what to talk about Doctor Strange. I did already did Sailor Moon. I can't do Attack on Titan. My only choice was to do what people call an anime, but it's actually not an anime. But I still call it an anime in my opinion. And that would be Avatar The Last Airbender. Hold on for a minute. What? Look, a lot of people call it an anime, okay? I do it too. So let's get started. In Avatar Last Airbender, it will follow Aang as he ran away because he didn't want to become the Avatar. And he stays in the ice ball for 100 years and the Fire Nation attacks the Airbenders. Then he gets found by Isaka and Katara. And the main villain in this movie is the Fire Nation, which is Fire Lord Ozal or something. And the side villain is Zuko, then he becomes a hero, and we also introduced Toph already. And yeah, still, Zuko gets uh, gets banished by his dad, and he's just an angry guy, and, and Aang has to master all four elements, which is water, earth, and fire. Then Aang fights, eats uh, Fire Lord Azula, and Zuko is now, and Zuko betrays the, the Fire Kingdom, and... That was Avatar The Last Airbender. Now for the post credit scene. In the post credit scene, Zuko and Min both have a picnic while having a chat with each other. Then, their picnic gets interrupted by a ship when they look up at the sky. And in that ship was... Kang. Now let's move on to the next movie. For the of part of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, of course it's going to be Sailor Moon 2. Sailor Moon 2 will follow Sailor Moon as she wants to be more real power as she wants to be more powerful and she has a crush on a boy with a tuxedo, a top hat, and a cape. I forgot his name. The main villain in this movie is Queen Brerly and sh she wants to destroy the earth. What well, she wants to do what her master says. Then the sailors are both charged up and and fought uh, her minions. Then Sailor Moon loses her powers, and then, then a few l minutes later, she gets new powers, and, and she fights Queen Barely, and she dies, and that was Sailor Moon 2. And sorry, it was short. And the movie sort of has a good ending, but soon it'll set up for the big crossover event. Now time for the post credit scene. In the post credit scene, Frieza went to another alternate dimension where he's talking to someone. Well... Uh, you you should be another the person from another dimension who I saw you familiar. Who are you supposed to be? The man turns around and says, My name is Samasu. Samasu is Black Goku, and he won't be in the third Dragon Ball movie. He'll be in the big crossover event. Now time for the next movie. Now for the for Spider-Man Homecoming. And of course, that will be 
My Hero Academia. In this movie, he'll follow Deku as he wants to get powers. Then he meets All Might, who gives him one of his powers, which is, first, super strength. Then he went to a school where everyone has become a superhero. Then they all get into their, their suits, and the main villain in this movie is All for One. And the reveal for All for One is Deku's dad. Huh, <laughs> see what I did there? And Deku fights his dad, and then then puts him in jail, and takes away his powers, and All Might stores him, them, and that was My Hero Academia. Now for the post credit scene. In the post credit scene, All Might goes to a base where the heroes were, and that's of course the Jump Force base. And that's where we meet again, which is Kinkashi, Might Guy, and Obido. Yes, Obido is still alive in this universe. Sorry about that. And then Guy smiles and says, What are we waiting for? Let's reunite the team. And now for the next movie. I know exactly what to kind of part Thor Ragnarok. And that will, of course, be Dragon Ball Super. In Dragon Ball Super, it will follow Goku getting ready for the war, or with Frieza. And Broly's also in it as well. And that's all. And, and Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo both fought Broly at first, but then he wants to help. Then, of course, Frieza is the main villain, and he wants to destroy Goku's planet. And Vegeta Ida, tries to fight eat Frieza, but he was too powerful. <laughs> and and Broly Lee fights Frieza for many, many hours. And the Dragon Ball characters both leave if the planet where Goku lives and, and the planet blows up and Broly and Frieza both die and then Frieza, I mean Goku, Vegeta, and Piccolo and the rest of the Dragon Ball characters both have to go find in a new planet to live which is of course Earth and that was Dragon Ball Super now it's time for the post credit scene in the post credit scene Simasu still leaves his planet and then goes goes where Goku is going to live Earth and now for the next movie. So, Black Panther was not easy made a counterpart, so I mixed it up. I did Hunter x Hunter. In Hunter x Hunter, Il Fall Gone as he wants to learn why his dad left him to be a hunter. He does meet two of his friends. I forgot their names. And he also meets the captain who knows about the eye, knows about his eyes, which he probably knows his dad. The main villain in this movie is Hisoko Moro. And he wants to kill the hunters. Gon and his friends both kill Hisoka Moro. And the movie has a bad ending because that's the system for the big crossover event. That's right, we get to meet Deku and his team. And that was Hunter x Hunter. And there was no post credit scene because, like I said, that's the for the big crossover event. Now, time for the big crossover event. The big crossover event is called Jump Force The Last Part 1. The main villain is Kane, and the side villain is Goku Black, and he's from another alternate universe. And there's some death scenes, so let's explain who dies in the movie. Suki dies. Boomy dies. Men dies. Chopper dies. Sadly. And Obido dies. Yes, finally, he's dead in the universe. Happy now? <laughs> And the movie has a bad ending because Kang wins and some of the team die. But they will come back to life in part two. And that was Jump Force The Last Part One. And there is no post credit scene. So, remember back in Ant Man's Universe Phase 2? Well, I counterpart Ant Man to One Punch Man and. Well, I can't title it One Punch Man and Genos because Genos already appeared in the first movie. So, I solved the problem by titling One Punch Man's sequel, One Punch Man's Second Punch. In One Punch Man's sequel, it will follow Saitama fighting more villains along with Genos and his team. The main villain in this movie is Goru, and he collects all the Dragon Balls to revive Eve, Eve Naruto's rival. Not, it's not Sasuke, it's someone else. You know, you know it. 3, 2, 1, surprise, Madara returns in One Punch Man's second punch, and he is impossibly punched in one punch. 
fights. Saitama is relieved that he can't punch Madara in one punch because every monster he fights punches in one punch, they die in one punch. And Madara and Saitama both have a Superman vs. General Zod fight. I'll leave the link down below, that way you can pretend that One Punch Man and Madara are fighting. Genos kills a dragon and Saitama punches just Madara so hard the Dragon Balls turn to dust. And the movie ends with, again, Saitama eating at McDonald's. And that was One Punch Man's second punch. post credit scene! In the post credit scene, Ichigo goes to see Saitama, telling him that he has to go and recruit someone. Saitama asks, So, who do you want me to go recruit? I want you to go recruit a ghost hunter, who is a detective. Saitama rolls his eyes and says, Fine, I'll go recruit him. And now I move on to the next movie. So I'm gonna talk, so I'm gonna counterpart Captain Marvel with a Ghost Hunter show that I've been trying to pronounce. I've been watching this anime and it's really good. And you should probably go watch it. It's still really good. It came out in the 90s. So my counterpart for Captain Marvel is Yu Yu Yuki Show. The movie could adapt the first 13 episodes of the show, aka the movie, I meant to say. The movie will follow Yusuke as he wants to come back alive. Neji makes a cameo, but as a ghost, because he's already dead. Yusuke and Kobara go to a tournament to see who is the strongest spirit. The main villain in this movie is Brando, because he was a demon this whole time. Right, because, and Kobara gets his lightsaber sword, or whatever you call it, it. And Yusuke gets his spirit gun, of course. And Yusuke defeats Brando. No, and the movie ends with Koabara, Yusuke, and Keiko go see a movie. And they go see a Marvel movie. I couldn't think what movie they are going to see, so I had to make it up. And now for the post credit scene. In the post credit scene, Saitama lands right in front of the movie theater. And they're asking, is anyone named Yusuke Yurameshi? Yusuke looks at him and says, uh, that will be me of course. I need you to come with me on a very important mission, says Saitama. No way! I am not going on this deadly mission, and I don't know who's gonna be there, and I am not going on this mission, because I've already died today. A blonde dude named Ichigo shall send me there. Now come with me. Why don't you make me? Saitama grabs Ichigo by the collar of the jacket and flies away with him while Ichigo is screaming, Put me down, put me down, put me down. And that was. Yu Yu Yuki Show, and now for the big crossover event, which is the which is a sequel to Jump Force Last Part One. Five, four, three, two, one. The big crossover event is called Jump Force the Last Part Two. In Jump Force the Last Part Two, it will follow the team going on their big event, which they go back in time to find the Dragon Balls to bring back their friends, and who were snapped away by King. Then the team. Im goes back to the present, and that's where they meet King, and, and then they fight him. Then, the villain, Lin, which is King, brings back all the villains from the past anime movies. And the heroes go back, back to the present, and then they fight the villains. And there's a few character death scenes. And I mean a lot of death scenes. So, let's see who dies in this movie. Well, first we lose Guy, Sese Kankashi, Usopp, Nami, Saitama, Genos, Sailor Moon, All Might, and the ultimate sacrifice will be Edward. And now for characters that retired and follow their dreams. So here's our characters that retired and follow their dreams. Naruto is now Hokage. Luffy is now King of the Pirates. Goku retires from the Jump Force. Same with Ichigo. And Tanjiro retires from Slayering Demons. And yeah, the bad guy still dies, but the movie ends with... The Jump Force having a, a memorial for Edward, who sacrificed himself to save the world. And that was Jump Force The Last Part 2. And now for the final product of Phase 3. The final product for Phase 3 is My Hero Academia World's Heroes Missions. The movie will take place 5 years later after the war with King. Naruto makes a cameo. The main villain in this movie is Flexturn. My Hero Academia trio get new suits, which is black leather, and they do defeat the bad guy, and the movie ends with 
the team having a memorial for All Might. And that was Minor Academia World Heroes Mission. And there's no post credit scene. So yeah, that was Anime Cinematic Universe Phase 3 Part 2. If you want to watch Part 1, the link will be in the description down below. And I did this in my universe with my own imagination. The reason why I did it because a live action Naruto movie is in the works, and I believe we might get a new cinematic universe real soon. Like the Hasbro Cinematic Universe, James Gunn's DCU work universe, universe with Superman, Superman, and yeah, that's all I have to say. So I have no plans for Phase Four, Five, and Six, but if I do. I might do those in 2029 or 2030. Who knows? So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.